Hey guys, it's Joanna here. It's still really early in the morning and I'm just out in the park. So today, we'll be doing a 15-minute beginner bootcamp workout. I know many of you have been requesting for workout videos which do not require any jumping. So that's what we'll be doing. This workout, it's going to be intense enough for you to be burning fat, burn lots of calories, but there will be no jumping involved. So we'll start with a 5-minute cardio which will also act as your warm-up. Then move on to 4 minutes of lower body, 3 minutes of core, 2 minutes of upper body, and we'll finish with 1 minute of plank, okay? So each workout will be for 40 seconds with 20 seconds rest in between. Remember to listen to your body, take this workout at your own pace, and keep progressing each time you do this workout. So get your body ready, you can do this workout at the comfort of your own home, or you can do this workout at the park nearby. So let's work out together. So guys, let's start marching on the spot, okay? Remember to take this workout at your own pace. When you feel like you need to take a short break and breathe, do that and get back into the workout when you're ready, all right? So I'm going to set my timer, okay? And we'll start with your warm-up and also cardio. So, th so the first warm-up is going to be leg curls, okay? So I just want you to curl your leg and just open and close your elbows, okay? Your arms. Very nice and easy. Good. So we'll do this for 40 seconds just to get your heart rate pumping, just to get your blood flowing and your muscles warmed up. Good. And remember to keep your arms high. So do not drop your arms. Keep them high in front of your face and just curl your leg and get your legs warmed up and working. Good. Very nice. Keep going. Leg curl, step side to side. Good. Okay? Really stretch and open up your chest and keep your body nice and open. Good. Few more seconds. Good. 20 seconds rest, okay? So the second workout, second warm-up will be shuffle to touch down. So I just want you to shuffle and touch down, okay? So shuffle to the side and touch down. That's it. So let's start in the center. Shuffle and touch, okay? Let's go. Start, shuffle, touch. So touch, good. Go low and squat. Shuffle and touch, very nice. One step to the left, one step to the right. Touch, look straight ahead. Open up your chest, do not hunch, and do not keep your body all the way down, okay? So open up your chest, look straight ahead, give me a nice big smile, and just touch side to side. Good. You should feel your legs working. You should feel your heart rate pumping. And it should make you feel really good. Good. Rest. Third warm up, it's going to be a low squat. And I want you to imagine you're drawing a square. So start low, move forward, and move back, okay? Keep a low position at all times. So forward and step back, okay? Let's go. You really, you will really feel this. Let's get a step forward, back. Nice, stay low and back. So let's start with our right leg first, back. Nice, go. Stay low and back. One more, and let's switch to left first. Good, stay low, keep your arms forward and just place them in the center back. You know, it's like, you're walking like a crab, really. Stay low, few more. Nice. Right now, back to right, back. Few more, low. Oh my God, I can feel my thighs warmed up. I can feel them burning. And shake it out, okay? Next, it's going to be half burpees to sprint. So just get into a burpee, come up, and just sprint three times. Down again, burpees, up, and sprint, okay? Really light jog. Let's go. Out, in, up, jog, good. Out, in, and just jog, nice. Out, in, jog. Jump, and jog. Nice, there you go. If you want to, you can also choose to march, okay? Out, in, jog. Very good, keep going. Run, out, in, 
march if you want to and one last one jog give me one more and jog good job and the last cardio will be groiners so all i want you to do is get into this position and just bring your left leg forward back and right leg okay so it's just a nice stretch good let's go look up arch and stretch very nice bring your heart rate down slightly before we get into four minutes of lower body arch look up stretch good open up the hips open up the inner thighs and just stretch Woo! can you feel your heart rate can you feel muscles good that's what we want and remember to just breathe and good come up shake it out a little bit now let's move on to lower body so the first workout is going to be forward and back lunge okay and we want to be starting with our right leg right so take a wide step forward touch in the middle take a step back touch okay whoa what is that let's go <laughs> it's just a stone good touch in the middle forward lunge touch back go as low as you can okay but make sure that your knee do not rest on the floor good down touch forward touch so you should really feel your leg working your bum working and this will really help to tone those thighs and also burn those excess fat and shake it off slightly I'm just gonna kick that away same workout now on our left leg okay take a breather 10 seconds I need to catch my breath breathe in and out okay shake it out start in the middle left leg now ready let's go forward down oops touch down touch forward touch back good so if you want to keep your balance look straight ahead and look at one point okay touch forward lunge and touch good back keep it steady if this is only you know like your first few times doing this kind of workout just listen to your body you know make sure that you're doing proper form don't rush the workout it's more important that you get the workout right than rushing through it and not feel the right muscles good now shake it out good second lower body workout will be squat so I want you to get into a nice deep squat and then just kick to the side okay right so frontal view will be squat and just alternate kick to the side okay you will really feel on your outer thighs as well let's go start with our right leg open kick good nice deep squat kick down again with every squat that you take you want to keep your chest open and upright and face forward nice down a duck good down kick to the side okay high kick do not give me a low kick I want to see those high kicks to the side good job keep going up nice breathe last two more up one more good job last lower body workout we want to be working on our inner thighs now this is my favorite you've probably seen me doing this too many times so stand wide toes pointed out okay get low into a sumo squat position stay here and all I want you to do is lift your heels off the floor and every time you leave, lift your heels off the floor you should feel your inner thighs working and squeezing okay if you don't feel it you can take a step slightly wider you should really be shaking your legs should start feeling really sore this small movement is going to really kill your legs and give it a nice good workout feel your inner thighs working up heels up nice keep going stay low not now 
Do not come up now, stay low. Woo! I am absolutely sweating and dripping. And one last one. Oh my God, up and shake it out. So now grab your yoga mat. We want to get into a full body crunch, okay? Right, so lie down on the floor. And what we want to be doing is just, okay, arms by your side, crunch full, in, extend. Good, so crunch, elbows in, knees in, extend. Nice, so we're now moving on to core workout. Crunch in and out. You're halfway there, guys. You're doing really well in and out. Good. Feel those core working, feel those abs working. Keep going all the way in, all the way out, low enough to not arch your back. In and out, good. Woo. Up, down, slowly. Don't rush the workout. Be sure that you're getting proper form. Good. And now, turn the other way, face down. Your core muscles also involve your back muscle, okay, your lower back. So now we want to be working on that. Face down, what I want you to do is down, Superman, with a back squeeze, okay? Squeeze your back right at the top. Let's go. Up, squeeze, good, extend, and down. Up, squeeze, feel your lower back. Feel your upper back working. And really squeeze and feel and engage those muscles. Nice. Woo, I am dripping. I am sweating. And you should as well. A few more. Down and up. Oh my God. What a great way to start your morning. Absolutely dripping. One more and down. Good. And I'll just push yourself up. We want to get into mountain climber, okay? So I'm just gonna adjust my mat slightly. With mountain climber, all you have to do is place your arms, hands on the floor, legs up, and just imagine you're climbing the mountain, okay? So remember, take it at your own pace. You can go fast if you want to. If you are still an absolute beginner, then go slow, you know? Feel your abs working, feel your upper body working, supporting your weight, and keep your weight at the center of your body, at the center of gravity. This is a really good core workout, really good cardio, and really good fat burning workout. Okay, so take it slow and easy, and as you find it that you want to push yourself, pick up the pace, good. Keep going guys. Woo! You can hear my loud breathing, nice. A few more. Oh my God. Oh, rest it out, rest it out. Now, on to upper body. So we want to start with push-up, okay? I believe that everybody should know how to do a proper push-up and should be doing push-up because it is one of the best upper body workout. So, on your knees, bring your butt down, okay? Straight body, go down and up, that's it. It is as simple as that. So your body, should be in one line, not this. If you do this, this is wrong, okay? So make sure you're not doing this, make sure your butt is not sticking in the air, but it should be one line, tight in your core, and you should just go down and up, and push, and use your chest, and your shoulders muscles, good. Engage those core, nice. Slow down, up fast, good. So check your position, check which part you're feeling, and which muscles you're engaging. One more. Very nice. Oh, now, we want to move on to plank up down, okay? Second last workout. Hang in there with me. Let's do this together. So, in a high plank position, okay, we just want to go down and up, okay? If this is difficult, beginners, everybody needs a starting point, start on your knees. So down, okay, and up. Down and up. So alternate your hands and up. And eventually, get onto your toes. Down and up. Good. Down and up. So what you want to aim for is minimal movement on your hips. Okay? So what you really want to be engaging is your core muscles. Good. Down and up. Oh my God, I am absolutely sweaty. 
dripping, but I know this is gonna be doing me a lot of good. Okay, down and up. Last few more. One more up. And now just rest it out. That's 14 minutes of workout. Final workout will be plank, okay? One last workout. Right, will be plank. Let's do this together. And now let's get into a plank position and just hold it here, all right? We'll do this together. Try to hold it for one minute if you can. You know, breathe and just really engage your core. Again, with plank, what you don't want to be doing is dropping your lower back. This is not a plank or doing this. This is not a plank as well. Like any core workout, engage your core. Your core involves the front part of your body, your abs, and the back part of your lower back. So engage both muscles and just hold it here. Good job, guys. You're more than halfway there. Three more seconds, two more. Now let's hold it for another 20 final seconds. Keep going. I am dripping, I can see my sweat, but that's really good because I know I've worked hard enough. 10 more seconds, hang in there with me. Don't drop now, hang in there. Let's count down together. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Oh my God, wipe your sweat, take a breather. You've done so well. Well done, guys. Oh, I am still catching my breath. I am absolutely drenched in sweat. Oh my God, but I'm feeling so good. And I know this is a great way to start my morning or even end my day, okay? So guys, if this is only your first or second time doing this video, then follow the pace of this video. But if you have done this video many times and you find that it is getting too easy for you, then what you can do is increase the workout time to 45 seconds or 50 seconds and decrease the rest time to 15 or 10 seconds, okay? And don't just do one set. You know, this is one set. What you can do is challenge yourself to at least two or three sets. Then you will have a full 30 to 45 minutes of solid workout. So do this workout at least three to four times weekly for best result. And I can assure you in four to six weeks time you will decrease in body fat you will feel really good you will feel energized and you will see the difference not just on the outside but also on the inside so if you like this workout be sure to share it with your friend and do this workout together with your workout buddy as well all the best